Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video. In this video, I want to talk about exams. So yes, it's the time when exams are near. And uh, almost many of you are in your school or high school who are about to appear in some kind of exams. And I know you are scared of exam and I'm not here to tell you that don't be scared of exams. You, you are already scared of exams and it's okay to be scared of exams. They are scary, we all know it. And I have also faced the same situations of being scared for the exams and having all those thoughts in mind that exams cannot decide my future. Maybe I should drop out. Maybe I should not appear in exam and all these things. These thoughts are common. But today I want to share one incident with you of my life, of my school time when I was hell out of scared of one exam. So let me walk you through with this incident and probably it's going to help you with your exams also. Now when I was in school, uh, I'll be honest with you, I was a little bit bright kid, not the among the top one or two but still decently bright. I used to score out of 100 like more than 90s or 95 in my maths, in my science, even in history and geography. I loved these subjects, absolutely. And we had subjects like Hindi and Sanskrit as well. Hindi, it was amazing. I was really good in it. But Sanskrit was the subject which was pulling me down. On one hand, I was scoring like more than 90 or 95 in maths and science. On the other hand, it was Sanskrit where I was barely getting passed. I still remember one time when in one of the exams I got just 42 marks and 40 was the passing marks. So and I honestly know that somewhere in my heart I know it that teacher gave me those extra two marks just to let me pass because I knew inside myself that I don't deserve those 42 marks. I was pretty sure that I'm going to get fail in that. And I was really mad in that. And it was something about me or maybe the teacher. I couldn't, just couldn't get clicked with that one particular subject. Uh, in all of the other subject, I was performing really well. My home assignment was absolutely amazing. But when the time slot came about for Sanskrit, I was really bad in it. I couldn't just do it. I was honestly really bad in that. So everything just was working just fine. I was just getting passed in all of the exams and final exams came out just about this time of the month. Uh, just almost when the March was about getting started. So all of the exams were going really good and then it came as Sanskrit. And I knew honestly that I'm about to get fail in Sanskrit and the, all the thoughts that you are having in your mind also came to my mind that I shouldn't go for exams, exams are really bad, education system is really bad and these exams cannot determine my future, maybe I should drop out. So all these thoughts came in my mind. But when I checked reality because nobody can fool you, uh, you inside you knows all the reality and I knew it, I'm saying all of this because I'm not performing well in just one subject. So these thoughts are all result of this. So I decided that, hey, uh, I am already gonna get fail. So let me try one more thing because I'm kind of a person who doesn't just give up, at least not without giving the best shot. So I, I thought, hey, we are getting fail in this, so there is no option. So let's just give a last try and it should be the most perfect try so that at least to myself I can say that hey, I tried my best. So I decided that hey, it's just between me and the Sanskrit. So I took out all of the papers because in order to take any battle, you need two things. And these two things are important. The first one is correct strategy and the second one is extreme hard work. So I knew it already. I started a strategy and I picked up all the previous papers and we used to get asked like 12 or 14 questions in exam. I picked up all the chapters and all the previous papers and made a well-educated guess of just 20 questions. I picked up a fresh notebook, I just bought it and I decided that these 20 questions, that's it. These are going to be my lifesaver or my life taker. So I decided that I'm going to be writing every question 10 times in that notebook. And within just two days, I just filled that notebook completely by writing again and again and again all these 20 questions. And then I went to my dad. My dad was totally aware of the situation that how scared I am of Sanskrit. 
I am performing really well in maths and science coding 90s, but Sanskrit is something I'm gonna get down. And I, I just told my dad that, hey, uh, you know about the Sanskrit situation? And he said, yes, I am aware of it. And I said, you know what? Situation is much worse than it was previously. And probably I might get fail in Sanskrit, but I just want to show you this notebook that I worked really hard with that. And I explained him all the situation that I picked up these questions. These are all well-educated guests. I worked really hard with it, but that's it. That's the best I can do. I cannot understand that. But instead of blaming anything, I have just memorized these questions. Now it's all luck or, and these, this is the situation. And my dad said that you have given your best and here's the proof. You have filled up entire notebook uh, with these practices. And I was like, this is the best I can do. I, I honestly, I can do just this. And my dad said, okay, whatever happens, just tell me. And next day I went for an exam and by seeing the question paper, I was amazed. 80% of that exam came from the, all the questions that I, I memorized, kind of a memorized. I will not say I practice or studies. They, I, I wrote them so many times that they became into my muscle memory. So picking up a pen was just like picking up a torpedo and just flushing all the answers uh, onto the answer sheet. So we were given like two and a half hour to finish all these questions. I finished them in one and a half hour because I was not using my brain. It was just memorized. I just noted down and that's it. And uh, to be honest, I didn't even look for the rest of the questions because that's it. I just wanted to get past and I knew the 80% of the questions. So I was really happy with that. When I came out of the exam, my dad saw my smile on my face and says, looks like things got really good. And I said, good, it was amazing. And I, I went back to home, I calculated how much marks I'm going to get in this paper. I calculated it again and again and again till I got my result back. And uh, to my surprise, out of 80, I got like around 78. And this is the only paper I know exact marks because this incident is so close to me. I got 78 marks. For me, paper was not of 100 marks, it was just 80 marks because that's what I knew. And I scored out of that 78 marks. And uh, in fact, I scored a little bit lower in my history. I usually score better than that, but I scored a little bit less. I was not worried about any other subject, not maths, not science, but only one that subject. Because this was kind of a one and experience that you get here. I was really happy. When me and my dad went to the class teacher to collect our result, she said, uh, you really performed really well in Sanskrit this time. Uh, did you got some tuitions and all something? I said, no, I just took your advice. In my last examination sheet, you wrote, uh, you can do better, work harder. And I took your advice. It was never about getting good marks or something. And what I learned from this incident is that yes, it's, it's rather easier to blame the system or maybe just to get worried about exams or scared about exams. But what I learned from this incident is Nothing is hard. All you need is a good strategy and extreme hard work to just kill anything. And you can do anything in life with that. And eventually I realized that it's not about getting the marks. It was the process that I enjoyed more than those exams. The process of writing all those questions again and again, working really hard for it. This whole procedure made me realize that, yes, things are hard in life. And, uh, but they can be conquered. I see many people in life who says, you know what, I'm not designed for programming. I'm not able to install Android Studio, so I'm leaving the Android development. I'm not able to understand the optional values in Swift, so I'm leaving the iOS development. And when I just see those people and I just see myself, yeah, I can understand. I was at that situation once, but luckily that situation arrived to me at a very, very early school stage. But you haven't faced this kind of situation, so that's why you are giving up but I'm kind of a designed in such way or programmed in such a way. I'm not made to give up. I don't give up easily. I, I always like to try one more time the best shot that I can ever give. Whether that's a YouTube stuff or a program or an app that I'm making or a client work or maybe learning a new framework. It's never easy. It will never be easy. It was never made to be easy. But all I really want to say that yes, exams don't really matter. And in fact, exam cannot, determ cannot determine what is going to be your future. 
But what is going to determine your future is how much you are determined to take down that challenge and give it your best shot. Not just board exams, there will be a lot of exams in your life and uh, they will all, they are all going to be tough. And I'm not saying that eventually it will get better. It will only get worse. But the only thing that you can learn right now is to give your best shot. So without worrying about anything, go ahead, take down that challenge and just give the best possible shot that you can give and just leave the rest of the things. They are not in your hand. The only thing that is in your hand is trying harder. That's it. If you have enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Do subscribe to my YouTube channel, join me on my Facebook page and Instagram as well. I know these are a lot of things where you can join me, but the world is a social media platform. Join me up on the, all the platforms, links are in the description and I'll surely catch you up in the next video. Oh.